Hello everyone and welcome to this video going over all the Eternal Cylinder agents in the Eternal Cylinder. The very first agent that Treba meet is the Cleanser. This looks like a human chest and arms combined with a car. It's bright yellow headlights can strip Trebums of mutations. Cleansers can be powered up by the mathematician to emit a red light instead of yellow. This red light deals massive amounts of damage and strips mutations. And it goes after any Trebum it sees. It can move quite fast on clear ground, but sure does have a lot of trouble turning and getting around hills or difficult terrain. Cleansers can sometimes be found sleeping and can be woken up by loud Trebum. Cleansers are one of the weakest Eternal Cylinder agents, as they can die by simply running into water and short-circuiting. It only takes three big energy bombs to kill a cleanser. Dead cleansers will drop this special amber-looking thing only after Trebum have unlocked the mutation tree in their inventory. Trebum that suck up this item will have one of their mutations randomly protected for the rest of the game. The Witness. This is a weird agent that floats in the air and has two hands holding a television screen that has an eye on it. Witnesses will float around emitting a yellow beam that can strip Trebum of mutations. Witnesses can be powered up by the Mathematician or Unifier to emit a red light instead of a yellow light. This red light deals massive damage along with taking away mutations. It doesn't attack on its own, but if it finds a Trebum, it will alert all nearby agents of the Trebum's location and call them to the Trebum. The Witness also acts as the visual organ for a unifier sometimes, and the Mathematician often puts Witnesses inside these poles to be scouts and a lookout for any Trebum trying to get by. Witnesses are toughly built, but they can be short-circuited by water which will disable them for a short time. Disabling a witness over water is your best choice because once they are in the water, they can never turn back on and will slowly die. Somehow, the witness is extremely resilient to bombs. It takes zero damage from all of these big energy bombs here. However, it can be killed by other mutations such as the wheel body and meteor feet. The Unifier, a large terrifying looking thing that has a human torso but then a virus-like head and spider legs made of metal. The Unifier is blind on its own but it can detect things off of sound. The Unifier has several functions for the Eternal Cylinder. It can send out optic crystals that are parasites to latch onto any wildlife in the area to corrupt the protective presence of the towers. It can also charge up crystals around it and then throw these crystals at its targets which will explode like bombs. While the unifier is charging crystals around it, it also knocks back anything that attempts to get too close. Anything that gets too close to the underside of the unifier will be met with a deadly electric shock. Sometimes the Unifier can utilize a witness to act as its eye, and it also uses its head as a protective safe to keep certain items away from the Trebum. When a Unifier is defeated, it will collapse on the ground and lifeless, and its head will open, releasing anything inside. The Exonerator, and I don't care what the compendium says, this is one of the most deadly agents of the Eternal Cylinder. Thankfully, it is only summoned in the desert. Exonerators are launched from the Eternal Cylinder into the desert in the path of Trebum, and acts as quite the jump scare sometimes because you just hear a loud boom out of nowhere and then a giant thud as it hits the ground. The Exonerator is one of the fastest cylinder servants, however it is really bad at turning and can get stuck on these orange structures in the desert, which it cannot destroy by the way, and it also can be stuck in cliff sides if it's too tight of a turn. It also has trouble navigating rough terrain. The Exonerator can flash a powerful beam of yellow light on one side of its body that can strip multiple mutations off a Trebum in one flash. 
When the exonerator starts getting low on health, this light bulb will start to flash a red color instead, which deals damage and strips mutations. Exonerators are waterproof, unlike cleansers, and going into water will not instantly kill them. However, they can get stuck in the water as they will not be able to drive out if the terrain down there is too bumpy. Exonerators are also extremely difficult to kill as they take eight big energy bombs to kill. If Trebum somehow managed to kill the exonerator, it will drop the same orange item cleansers drop, which unlock one mutation permanently for a Trebum that consumes it. The Celestial Trawalla is the only creature that can kill exonerators. When an exonerator is around, it has a unique soundtrack that plays. Hand of Fate. This is a terrifying, gigantic monstrosity that has a bunch of hands morphed together and it's just fingers and hands. It's so weird looking. And it has a tongue-like appendage that has eyes in it, which looks a lot like the Clabberock tongue eye thing. This Hand of Fate was created by the Cylinder to stop the Trebum on their quest. It has the ability to expel a deadly amount of heat that can deal damage to any Trebum that comes in contact with the heat it produces. In this boss battle here, it heats up the sides of the glass with its fingertips or with its eye tongue appendage. However, the many fingers it has is also its weakness as these are very fragile and do not like getting things slammed into them. The Liberator. The Companion says that this is one of the most dangerous Eternal Cylinder Servants, however, I found that they're quite easy to outmaneuver and definitely not as much of a pain as Exonerators. Liberators can only be summoned by the Mathematician, so there's not a whole lot of them around like the Exonerators. And you know a Liberator is in an area if you see this ring sticking out of the ground and these two circles next to it. This means that the Mathematician is going to hop over the cylinder at some point and raise the Liberator from the ground. While Liberators are fast, they do suck at turning and are not good on rough terrain like many other agents. The Liberator has a tractor beam attack that it will use when Trebum or anything it wants to kill is close enough to it. This tractor beam sucks up anything in the light and brings it to the Liberator's face so it can deal damage. This is the only yellow light that does not strip mutations. Trebum can throw bombs into this yellow light to trick the Liberator into picking up a bomb and having it explode right in its face. It takes about 8 big energy bombs to kill a Liberator or they can use the unstable body mutation to give the Liberator a nice surprise. The final biome is not the only area you can find Liberators though. If you manage to get behind the cylinder in chapter two or after, and you stay there too long, the cylinder will summon a Liberator to kick those nasty Trebum out because it doesn't want you snooping around. However, this Liberator tends to fall through the floor when it dies, sometimes taking the item it drops with it. The item I'm talking about is this special amber item that unlocks a random mutation to Trebum that consume it. All Liberators drop this item when killed. The Mathematician. This is the largest, most powerful agent of the Eternal Cylinder. It is around since the very beginning of the game, and the Mathematician fulfills the will of the Cylinder. The Mathematician is responsible for rolling the Cylinder across the land, although we do know that the Cylinder does not need the Mathematician to roll. This giant has the ability to summon and command other Eternal Cylinder agents and does everything in its power to stop the Trebum on their journey. The Mathematician has what looks like a blue door in its head, and this is the portal into the Eternal Cylinder's mind. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these Eternal Cylinder agents and which one you despise the most. Thanks for watching and good luck outrolling the Cylinder.